Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about Azure Logic App. Azure Logic App is a cloud service that help you schedule, automate and orchestrate tasks, business process and workflow. Logic App simplifies how you design and build scalable solution for your app integration, data integration, system integration, enterprise application integration and a business to business communication. In an enterprise you may need to communicate a B2B communication or in a, uh, within an application you need to communicate with each other. So Azure Logic App will be going to provide a simplified solution for this. So let's go into the portal and see how we can create a Logic App. So I'm here in the portal.azure.com. I'm going to the create resource option here. I'm going to search for the Logic App. So if you see that uh, it's giving me an overview page and what all the plans available for the lo Logic App. And in the below, you can see a docs to explain about the Logic App. So let me go and create a brand new Logic App. So it will expect a name uh, for your Logic App. So let me name this my first Logic App. And it expect a valid subscription. As you see that I have a pay as you go subscription. So uh, it expect a resource group. You can create a new resource group or use an existing resource group. A resource group is nothing but a logical grouping of all your resource. So let me may create a new resource group as a logic app RG. And I'm going to create this resource group in the East US location. So I'm keeping the analytics uh, log analytics as off and let's go and create this logic app. So it will take a while to create uh, my first logic app. So if you see I am here in the uh, logic app RG group and if you see my uh, deployment status the deployment is been succeeded so let me go into the resource and see if my first logic app is been created or not. So if you see that uh, it give me a uh, logic app in introduction video session and I can go and start my very first logic app so i can go and start with a blank logic app so in this quick start uh, we are going to build a logic app that regularly check a website rss feed for new item if a new item is exist the logic app send an email for each item for this scenario we will be needing an email account uh, that may be an uh, office 365 an outlook or a gmail and uh, there are n number of email service uh, that are all in preview and it's been supported in this Azure Logic App. So let me go and create a blank Logic App. And I'm going to search for an RSS feed. So if you see that an RSS feed is an, a, a news based service. So let me go and add this RSS feed trigger. When a feed item is published, I need to send an email. So let me go and add this RSS feed. So it is creating a connection to my RSS. And if you see that it expect a URL for an RSS feed URL and interval and uh, frequency you need to go and check into the URL. So I am I am here in the uh, RSS feed and I have uh, the RSS feed URL. So I am going to uh, uh, expecting a top news from the uh, RSS feed and I will be going to check this uh, uh, feed for every one minute and it will going to be trigger an email for me. So let me go and uh, save this option. So let me go and save this and I'm going to add an email option as a next let me go and add an email search for send an email so if you see that uh, we have a gmail uh, office 365 or you have multiple options over there so let me go and search this in a full fledged So 
so there are office 365 gmail and n number of uh, email options are available both third party as well as the microsoft supported so in my case i am going to uh, use the office 365 outlook and if you see the action over here you can create a contact create an event delete contact or a delete email event so in my case i am interested to send an email so let me go into scroll down and see the send email option over here so if you see here i have an a get email uh, v2 version is there in the same way i can go and get the send email option let me scroll down and find the send email option so there is a send email v2 version is there let me go and select the send email v2 version so it will expect me to sign in this uh, into this office 365 let me go and sign in to this office 365 so i have successfully signed into my uh, office 365 i can see my connection in uh, if you want to i can go and change the connection here so here i can uh, specify the two address uh, to uh, what i need to be sent for this uh, uh, feed so you can I, here i can get a feed id or a uh, feed summary or a feed uh, title or a feed update these are all the events and links we will be getting from the rss feed right go and frame a subject for this mail so uh, let me add a subject as uh, new rss item so and let me go uh, this as a feed title and in the sub in the body i am going to frame uh, a title the title is going to be my feed title so i'm going to add the feed title as a title and let me go and add the date publish and i'm going to the add the feed publish and i'm going to add the link to my feed so that's nothing but the feed link item all right so my uh, email is been ready so i can configure the two address also here let me go and configure these two addresses so if you see i have uh, have a feed item and it will be going to trigger for every one minute and if any new feed is been there and it will be going to be sent to my uh, email so let me save this and go and run this logic app so we let me go and run this logic so i'm going to run this logic app so if any new feed is been published in the rss feed then i will be getting an email notification to my email id so if you see if you see that uh, successfully checking the trigger and if any new feed is been uh, i can see that a new feed is been a trigger and it send an uh, email notification to my outlook email id which i configured on here so that's all about this uh, logic app uh, so this is a, a quick overview of a logic app you can go and achieve lot more here in the logic app like an uh, b2b communication and an app to app communication a lot more you can go and achieve with this logic app. Thank you.